Hi guys, I'm Alice and I'm going to show you the loyalty card designer tool where you can customize your cards. You can either upload your own design by clicking over here. You need to upload the front and the back design. Let me just show it to you. You need to select as a landscape or you want to upload it as a portrait. Let me just show any of the above. Yeah. Once you upload the front design, it will be previewed over here. You need to click on continue and it will ask you for the back design. Let me just try a demo for you. Let's click on continue. And it is asking for the back design so you can add any of that. So this is the preview which will be appear to you and then you can simply proceed to check out. So if you want to add the, uh, if you want to customize the templates available, you can simply select any of the template here you can see. So I'm just selecting this one. And you can select the paper stamps from th 6 or to 10. You can select design loyalty card. So this is actually the customization area where you can customize it using the text using the uploading art or you can add a clip art. So if you want you can simply increase or decrease the size of the text. You can rename it. I have just renamed it and clicked on update preview. It will be shown over here. You can change the font of this. You can change the color of this. So I just want to go ahead with dark gray. Okay. So next is you can also add an extra text box. So if you want to add an extra text box and you add anything. You can see the preview. You can resize it. You can paste it anywhere. Let me just make it in a smaller way. So this is how it can look like. You can make it as a uh, bold. You can bold the text. You can make it italic and you can change the orientation. You can also add a curved text in the same way. You can change the radius of it. You can also reverse it. And the font change in text color I have already shown you. Next is uploading an art. Uploading an art is uploading an image from your computer if you want it. And adding a clip art means you can add a clip art from all the available clip arts here. So all the things that I have shown you of adding text, art or clip art that can be possible on the back of the card. So you can see you can simply have the option where you can edit the previously written information or you can add an extra text box to add your own. So I'll just close it here. And I can upload an image on my own. Let me just upload this. And I can paste it anywhere. For now, I'm just pasting it here. And I can add a clip art. So adding a clip art is OK. But you can also do these things on your text or on your clip art. So you can make a mirror image of that. You can align the clip art if it's not aligned properly, either on the left to right or bottom to up or in the center. You can also rotate it using this angle or using this one. You can also increase or decrease the size over here as well. So let me just decrease it and put it somewhere here. I'm doing the same thing to the other clip art. So once you have done with the customization and you don't want to change anything, you can zoom it and check how it will look like. You can check the front as well. And if you have any issues, you can simply update it or you can finish your customization by clicking on next. And then you can simply add it to your cart. 
so this is the card information it will show you the front and the back design of your card okay I'll click on there and click on continue it will ask you how much quantity you need and for each quantity depending on that the per unit price and the total price will be displayed so I'm just selecting this and next proceed to order so this is the complete cart information you can also change the quantity from here you can add the discount coupon or you can check the subtotal after adding the VAT and everything you can also go on and edit your template from here as well you can go back to the old screen where you have added your text and everything and you can do the same things again so I'm just proceeding it to the checkout page if you have if you are a new customer you can click on here and you can add all your details and you can click on continue since I'm already registered I have my email ID and password registered I'm simply clicking over here and I'm adding it my password and clicking on login let me just do that so once you added your information this is the checkout page the next page of checkout where you have your billing address saved or you need to upload your bill add your billing address or you can add it add the shipping address if you want a different one or a same one So this is the delivery method you can uh, opt for standard or priority delivery I'm just opting for a standard one and these are the payment information that how you want to pay for the cards I'm just clicking on money order this is the order review that how much the complete order will be and what will be the delivery date and everything the subtotal and the grand total and you can check the payment terms and conditions you can check this box and click on place order so this is how you can complete your order with customizing the cards you can track the order with this number and you can print this so that's all for now thank you and you have a good day